Today we're in Charlesworth in the Peak District and we've got the post office and the Grey Mare pub on your right. We've got the Georgian Dragon just to the left. There we've got the uh, Charlesworth Village news agents. We've got a garage, there's plenty of parking on the side of the street. Just behind the Georgian Dragon pub you've got like a seated garden area and just at the back of there you've got the toilets. This seems to be the heart of the village where the two pubs are. So we're just in front of the Georgian Dragon pub. We're heading forward up Town Lane past the War Memorial. So we're heading forward uphill, look of a right turn now. Just at the side of the school there's a tiny little like water fountain or spring there coming through look. Probably for the horses to drink in years gone by I'd say. That's the house just opposite the school. Looks quite nice with all the flowers and bluebells and primroses in the garden. We walk past the school and then take the next turn in right. Sign says Charlesworth Lodge. We've turned right, we'll just give you a quick shot of that. We're steadily making our way uphill. We've still got a few houses on our left hand side. We're at the end of the houses now. We look to our right hand side and we're looking out over towards Manchester. You start walking along a bit of a track. We start to get some height now. We've only been on the walk about 10 minutes now and the views as we get higher are starting to appear. As we make our way up, we look to our right hand side and we've got some young calves there just on the brow of the hill or the top of the hill. We have a quick look behind. We're about 15 minutes out of Charlesworth now. After a steep bit of climb, the path levels out a fair bit. We just keep heading forward. As we walk along, we see a tiny bit of broken wall and uh, the view at the other side is quite good. So we take a quick shot. You'll come to like a crossroad of tracks, few trees, just cross straight over. We're heading towards Coombs Edge. We go up the side of some sheep pens. You're walking with a taxi driver today. Just before you walk by the sheep pens, look over the cattle grid to your right hand side. We're just walking at the side of the sheep pens. We're looking at the other side now. We can see little lambs, various colours. Down below, we think that's gloss up. Hills in the background. We've got a little lamb here, look, just having a little feed. 30 feet in front of us. Yeah, she's just checking it's hers, yeah. They, they're tame enough. She's had enough, let's keep going. We go forward through the gate. We can see a little lamb looking at us there, look. That edge we showed you is Coombs edge. Little lamb's still there. So we're walking along the edge, slowly making our way towards the tree line. As you walk forward, we looked at left. The road's only a couple hundred yards away. Plenty of lambs about, as you can see. As you walk up, Towards the wood, you'll come to like a fenced off field. Look to your left hand side and you'll see a footpath sign. And on the road there, we think there's a bit of parking. And you can start your walk there to go round Coombs Edge to see Joe's Pond from the village. It's a shorter walk, only two and a half mile. We're carrying on up towards the wood. We've got a sheep and a little black lamb there look running down the slope as you can see it's a fair slope as well she's made it down to the bottom but they've gone hidden behind the grass the path slowly bears round to the right we think we can see joe's pond in the distance it's the 9th of may today and we're quite lucky because we've got a fairly warm sunny day as you walk by the fence Heading towards the trees, just on your right hand side below, you come to the quarry. 
There we are, we'll just give you a shot there, look. There's the ridge we walked up. So we'll give you a quick look at the quarry. It's only small. There's the other side. And there you've got like the outcrop there, look. We're just looking under the bottom of it. There's a big sign here that says keep off. I think you should because it, you know, it could look a bit dangerous if you slipped. This is great. You do need your camera though. It's fantastic. It really is. We'll press on a bit further. Just past the quarry down below, we've got a tiny little pond with a couple of ducks on it there, look. And we've got a... They're going, they're flying off. Just a bit of breeze up here today. Pretty warm though. We're soon going to be walking across the front of the wood. We're just in front of the wood now, walk along the edge. And we think we can see Joe's ponds, or Joe's pond down below. And there's a fair bit of wildlife on one, so let's have a look. Well, it looks like we've three or four geese and maybe a pair of tufted ducks. We won't know till we get a bit closer. We're slowly making our way across the top. We're just at the end of the wood now. We're just looking back along the quarry edge there. That's a great place for a picnic because you're sheltered by the few trees and you've got a great view in front of you. So we're still heading across the top. We walk to the end of the fence line. The path starts dropping down pretty fast now, bearing off to your right. Just in front of us down below, we've got Coombs Farm. We'll be turning right before there. Just before we drop down, let's give you one quick shot up the valley. And the sun's still out, as you can see, it's a beautiful day. We walk down to the corner of the field and then we turn right. We're walking through a field of uh, very tiny lambs. We're just taking it very steady along here because as you can see these are only tiny ones. Well, we'll, we'll leave them for now and keep going. Here we are, look, they're having a drink. She's had enough. Just down below, we've got, uh, well, I can see five, but there's four horses there, look. We're about 200 feet before the ponds now. There's lambs wherever you look. We've got some here with like little brown ears and sort of brown legs on them as well, look. Really cute, really tiny though. Sticking together like glue there, look, there's a bigger lamb, but tiniest little lambs are these. He's twice the size, look at that. We're just near the ponds. I look to the right hand side now. Well, there's two tufted ducks gone there. We did have two tufted ducks there, but they've seen us in flown, so Let's look over the other side, see if we can spot them. Yeah, we've got half a dozen geese here. And a couple of tufted ducks. We're not going to get too close, we don't want to disturb them. And there's one of the other ponds as well. Well, we don't know if this one is Joe's pond or not, but uh, beautiful little pond and we don't want to get too near to the bird life on the others, so... But if you come here, you know one of these is. We just turn round and look down below us. We cross over the stile and head towards the farm. We're at the farm now, just keep to the top side of it. We make our way to the end of the farm, through the gate. We walk forward 30 feet and go left over the stile. We just keep heading forward downhill. We've got little dog or big dog come to see us there, look. But we keep going, he's all right, he's friendly enough. 
And there's a the view. We're heading towards Charlesworth now. We're not that far off. In front, we've got a Jacob's sheep. She looks as if she's got a brown or a black one on the left and a, a white one there just feeding. Yeah, she's just checking the other one. Yeah, so they're both hers. There we've got a little black one with a little bit of white mark on his side of his head there, look. And there looks like we've got brother and sister coming towards him on our left. And we've got the brown and the white one, look, feeding. That's a Jacob sheep there, look, that's great, is that? They're very patient, they just seem to sit there and let them drink. We just keep our distance, we just wait until they stop feeding before we move forward. We'll just take a shot to our right hand side as we head down the field from the farm. Full of lambs everywhere. There's certainly some nice looking lambs here, there really is. And they'll only be, you know, a day or two old. She's just eating away while they're having a little drink. Can hear lambs bleating all around. There's loads of them around here. Yeah, Blacken's just having a little feed and Whiten's just at side. And that's hers, the little white one on the right hand side. Oh, we've got a little, <laughs> we had a sheep there looking for a little drink. It's coming in now, it's following. But they're not very old, aren't they? Just uh, shouting for its mother there, look. Well, they're very tame. We just keep bedding forward downhill. As we walk to the end of the field, we look to the left hand side through the trees and we think, well, we don't know, it might be a missile thrush. We don't know there, but he just sat there watching us about 50 feet away. It's a lovely little shot, just sat there in the sunshine on a bough between two trees in front of us. He isn't moving a muscle. He's watching us or her. We're watching her and she's watching us. Just past the bird on our left hand side, we walk forward 50 feet and cross over the stile. Just in front of the stile we've got a butterfly there, a white one flying about. Walking down a little track now, going through the trees, passing over a stream. We're walking by some holiday lodges on our right hand side, going through the gate. There's the view just in front of the holiday lodges. We're just at the side of the Charlesworth Lodges here, just look at this little foal. <laughs> He's not very old. Well, the horse whip blanket on was having a little roll and a scratch there, but as I got my camera out, he stopped. He's just eating away now. Well, another five or ten minutes, we'll be back into Charlesworth. We hope you've enjoyed our walk up to Coombe's Edge, down to see Joe's Pond from the village and round. You've been walking with a taxi driver today. We showed you the footpath sign on the way up, said we're pretty sure there's parking there. We've checked it out, there's enough for about seven or eight cars. And that's if you're taking the shorter walk.